Well, we heard quite a lot or many interesting applications that were created by specialists and experts. Let's get to another topic. If you don't know what we talk about, we talk about the weather, exactly the weather it is. In the Argo region, in our region, and in, in the entire world of Germany, it was quite wet, and you were able to see it yourself. You saw it yourself today. And consequently, I would like to ask you, who of you has already started the grilling station let, uh, season? Who has unpacked the barbie, the barbecue? Quite some people, not too many opportunities so far, given the wretched weather here. We're, uh, we at Coates is also like barbecues a lot. And the way it looks like is something I would like to show you, because as matters happen in times of social media, you always need interesting video and film material. So one week ago, we took a camera for our barbecue and just take a look. <laughs> Hey, the grill is hot. Now let's get started, right? Excuse me. That is what I'm supposed to be using for the barbecue? No way. You must be kidding. Really? No. What am I supposed to do with that? Martin, come and take a look at that. I can't work with that. I need a decent bottle opener. There's no barbecue without a good bottle opener. What shall we do now? Maybe Bruno's got something. If someone's got something, then it's Bruno. Bruno, take a look at that. That's not a tool. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Oh, wow. No barbecue with a good tool. And also a bottle opener would be great. There's nothing to open the bottles with. Nothing works, not the grate, not the lighter, nothing. I'll take care of it. Great. At that point, I would like to introduce Bruno Freider to uh, you. He is our caretaker who is on his way to the workshop. He has a passion for our buildings, but he is also a passionate Tinkerer and do it yourself, and here we go. He's got something in in the Algo region. We call that a mechila, a doer. So, in short, you could describe Bruno as a mix of grumpy Nick Nolte and an ingenious Angus MacGyver. Let's see what happens next. Oh, great! Bruno's back. Hey, well. Oh, that is something. A super tool. Then let's get started. Ah, oh, now look at that. That is perfect. There's no stopping me now. A oh, wonderful tool. Let's take this one. That's wonderful. It's great. Bruno, congrats. Now, wait a minute. That's nice for putting things on, but what about uncapping things? How am I supposed to open my bottle with that thingy? Oh, I see. Someone has given some thought. A multifunction tool. Great, that's cool. Now, look at that. Where did you get that from so fast? I milled it myself on my CNC. Over in your workshop? Yeah, of course. With coatses. With coatses. Can we take a look at it? Sure we can. Let's have something to eat first, and then I'll show you. Great. It's a deal. Done deal. And thanks. Thanks. Well, um, thus the three of them, after having had something to eat, they walk to the workshop. It's a, sm a small carport, quite tight for space, and take a look at the machine. This is not a commercially available CNC machine because our Bruno 
has built that machine himself. It's homemade. Let's wait. Yeah, it's starting. Yeah. We see the machine. That's the constructive uh, under body. We see the linear axis. X, Y, and Z axis. As I said, it's all homemade, and you have to say that the workshop is very small, and he put the machine on a lifting cylinder, so when not needed, he can fold it away and use it as a work desktop. Here are the first milling attempts, fully automated milling head. Suction was done by himself. And here is a double pressurized air nozzle in front of it, so there is no flying around of materials. An X center clamping device was also built. Now it's also compressed air powered. And here you have to say, how can a caretaker build a CNC mill? Well, you can imagine that he is a tinkerer, a do-it-yourselfer. He set up his workshop, and at some stage, he applied for a CNC mill to the company management in a software company. The managers also laughed, rejected, done, dusted, but not with Bruno. Now, what did he do? He got Mr. Panzer and me on board, had a meeting, and say, for marketing events, we build demonstrators. I can uh, re recall a tripod with a keyboard playing Elvis or a 3D printer, we realized, with codes, or there was this mechanical dog, Rüdiger, designed, uh, designed by Mr. Panzer, the quadcopter. What about building a CNC mill realized and automated with codes? And you can imagine Mr. Panzer as the head of motion control, the inventor, together with me from product marketing, we were infused and financed the materials. And although he's not a mechanical engineer, Bruno got a machine, built it together, homemade and erected it. We've seen the individual components, and now let's see how automation looks like. We helped him. He's no specialist here. We helped him realize automation with CODESYS. Here you see a CODESYS. Here you see that we use a Raspberry Pi control. Why that? Well, so that no one feels stepped on their toes. We've seen the three linear axes that are controlled by open loop stepper motors. And there is a generic stepper motor controller of the Raspberry Pi. Towards the bottom, we see an SPI module. And uh, pre signed as he is, there are terminal switches at all axes. And the IOs are buffered and processed. And the entire control of, of the machine motion was realized with CODESYS. You can see the libraries towards the right-hand side, all these that belong to that code. What we don't find here, on purpose, is a CNC editor. Of course, it exists in CODESYS. But if we link it to the process, it will be fixed. We will see it in visualization later, but what we need is G-code in order to reach the positions, for example, for the barbecue tongs. And with the barbecue tongs, he, uh, he was inspired by wooden barbecue tongs. He found them on the internet. He designed his own multifunction barbecue tools tongue, and that is quite something. That's what Bruno ha written, has written or wrote himself. Also, the real process was optimized so that there is only very limited loss of time. Let's look 
at the next screenshot. That is offline visualization. On the left-hand side, you see manual mode. Here, the axis can be jogged, references and uh, referenced and homed. And on the right-hand side, you see automatic mode. Here, you can see something that is filled by soft motion automatically. We will get a live demonstration of that. And then the G code loading button, because it's not only milling barbecue tongs, but he mills better parts for the mill on the mill. Now let's watch the machine work. Believe me, it's a hellish machine. We have lowered the volume here. The bottle opener is milled. And we dismantled the suction device so that you see more. On top, you see visualization online. You see the tongs with the contour specified by the G-code and the G-code line that is being processed at the moment. Now, reference points are milled. Now, we accelerated things so that it doesn't take too long. That is uh, rapid motion. Here, the bores are, or the holes are drilled that give the tongues some grip. And there is the contour of the tongues. And here you see, ah, the shape looks like a normal barbecue tongues. And without a suction device, it's quite something. This is a different view of the machine. You see the trays with the axis and the application at the bottom that is now being processed and worked off. And on the right-hand side, you have the control cabinet where everything is built in. That's not really exciting. You can see that there are three stepper motor drivers. And at the center, you saw the Raspberry Pi. And here you see the tongs that, is pretty, that are pretty finished and the application monitor. And that was the whole workshop. So really compact and small the way it was realized. By the way, Bruno has made a wonderful documentation of the entire development with photos and videos, the generation of the machine. And this displayed yet another talent along with mechanical engineering. This CNC machine and the other applications we have seen so far sh show one thing. Play around. Be foolish. Get ideas by watching others. And maybe you want to build your own application at home in the company. New ideas. Now, let us go back to our barbecue, because there is a scene I don't want to withhold from you. Great tool you got there. Super tongues. You are the saver of the party. Yeah, and it's really fun to open bottles with it, too. A super tool. That's my thing. Uh, oh, listen, next week we will have our event, the Codes as Technology Day at Kultbox. Don't you think you could mill some more tongues now that you've already made a pair? Yeah, sure, why not? We are fully booked. There will be more than 500 people coming. What? 500? Well, pull the other one. Well, you've made one. You can also make 500 pairs of tongues. The machine does it automatically, right? Well, let me see. Hmm. Where do I get the material from? Next week, you said. Yeah, it's next Wednesday. Well, I'd better look for material right now. It's enough if they're there by 8 p.m. 8 a.m. OK, so done deal. Yes, let me see what I can do. Looking forward to it. Boy, oh, boy. It's not over yet.
Ja. Zugegeben. Admittedly, that was not Bruno. Nevertheless, he pulled the trick. He managed to turn these tongues that I would like to hear with formally discard. He produced 500 barbecue tongs on his CNC mill. And if you leave this hall later, feel free to take one, one pair per person, please not to be taken home for non-attendees. And the next time you do a barbecue, you can be glad about a great multifunction tool with an integrated bottle opener. And maybe you can think of that day. But above all, think about the multifunction tool for your automation tasks. There, codes. Thank you very much for your attention and have fun with your next barbecue.